our old oxidizer it was about 15 years old, it caught on fire. The internal temperature reached approximately 3,000 degrees uh, and basically rendered the unit useless. Our unit was actually placed right next to our paper and paint areas of the facility. So any breach of flame into those areas could have taken out the entire plant. And then the next day we did some inspection work on it and see what kind of mess we were really in and it was pretty bad. From there we were down completely, the whole production line was down. Our initial thought was to go with the original manufacturer of the equipment um, as they had built I believe seven different oxidizers for this company over the course of the last 20 years. Um, so there was a strong relationship there, but a bit of concern on our end just based on what we had been through. My experience has been when you get into a situation like this, you get people who think they know what they're doing and you get people who know what they're doing. The CMM group really appeared to know the most about RTOs. We had talked with five vendors, including CMM. Uh, no one had put together anything uh, near as complete. Darren and Jens were, were amazing to work with. They really were. My stress level was pretty low through the whole thing because there never was any real serious problems. I believe we hit every date along the way. Uh, even throwing in things like an installation of the temporary unit, which we hadn't originally talked about, uh, making some modifications to the programming, and even a few more projects that tied in, we still managed to hit the original date that we were expecting. We had a thermal oxidizer before that was 65% efficient roughly. This is up to 85. But really for us, the energy savings was just icing on the cake. Uh, we knew up front that the system as it stood was going to be a, a great improvement and it was great to hear on top of that that we would be saving money too. It was a, uh, you know, a very turnkey experience and that's exactly what we needed with the, the gravity of this project, the size of the project, as well as our knowledge base here it just wasn't big enough to handle a project of this size. The biggest thing for me too, to be honest with you, is my life could have been a living hell over the last uh, what was it, four or five months. I didn't have to worry. You know, that's the one thing is I, I didn't have to worry. It was, uh, it was a great experience. They delivered exactly as promised. And in a situation like that, that's what matters.